there could be another reasons why your robot isn't working and the charging base is in here secure and very well protected with the garage system that we have but back there i can see right above those two charging prongs is the light if the light is green this means that everything is good to go if the light is red and it's going to be hard for you to see it while it's in the in the in the in the garage that'll mean it's charging if the light is blinking you have to call us that means there's a wire break somewhere now one thing that during this heat is sometimes in your yard along the boundary wire right the boundary wire path it will create there'll be a splice points and there's been cases where um, there will, it'll say your robot will say outside boundary wire and this is probably most likely and it actually your light won't be blinking it'll be solid green and what it means is that the connection is still strong but the robot is actually more sensitive to a boundary wire break it's a very very rare case but it's possible if you notice that your robot says outside boundary wire but the light is still green that one of the, these splice points most likely or there's a boundary wire there's still a boundary wire break and all you need to do if you have a lease with us or a service contract with us we'll uh, come out and fix that for you no no charge and then we have that a part of our pricing menu if you have a boundary wire break and you have one of these robots of your own and you don't have a service contract with us then we'll come out and fix those boundary wire breaks so in conclusion you know, the charging base is meant to be a place where the robot rests and especially in our, our uh, patented uh, garage system and it rests in here very securely but I'm just noticing you know one issue is like if it's not, if I notice my yards not getting cut it could be because there's a boundary wire break and that means the light would be blinking